Hey Cancer, welcome to Awaken Blue Heart Tarot. For those of you that are new, my name is Danielle. And for those of you that are returning, hey guys, I hope that everybody's been doing great. So this is going to be your love reading for the month of May. Please keep in mind that this is just a general reading, so some of the messages may or may not apply to your exact situation. If you feel like it doesn't apply, please take a look at my other videos to check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs. And of course, you guys know the readings can go vice versa, so just take it however it fits your situation, okay? All right. All right, guys, so we're just going to go ahead and hop in because I'm curious to see what's going on in your love life. All right, Spirit, tell me about my Cancers. Love reading for Cancer. Month of May, what's going on? What messages do you have for my Cancers, please? I have Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Okay. Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Okay. You deserve love. You are lovable. Bottom of the deck, stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. All right. So, overall, I feel like you guys are just taking some time out, you know, for yourselves. I do want you to know that you guys do deserve love. Spirit is saying they want you to stay optimistic about your love because I do feel like there's somebody coming in that you're going to be very attracted to. So, and this could be something really, really good for you. But right now, a lot of you may have unplugged from social media. Maybe you've unplugged from other people. You're just kind of like trying to go within. Now, for others of you, I just have to say it because, you know, it can go either way. This could be a situation to where there's somebody that thinks about you a lot, but they live at a distance or and or they've been keeping their distance from you. So you two definitely have a connection with each other, but this person messed up so bad, they feel like they don't even deserve you. And they're hoping that you're going to stay optimistic about being with them because they're going to come back. See, I just split up on the deck and I have the hermit and the devil. So... This person could be going through lessons right now because, yep, look at that. They're, look at that. There's somebody going through some type of transformation. You know, they're definitely going through some lessons and they're realizing some things. And now they're kind of like, damn, like I really messed up with cancer or cross watcher. If you're dealing with a cancer, this is what they're thinking and saying about you. But let's just see how this plays out. Okay, spirit. So tell me about my cancers please love reading for cancer all right guys here we go so bottom of the deck i have the five of swords reverse so somebody at one point felt like they lost you for good and they're coming out of this energy they're coming out of being frustrated but they're not happy right now clarify Told y'all they're going through a tower moment. Clarify the tower. Mm -hmm. Somebody could be dealing with a fire sign. Clarify, hold on a second. Clarify Queen of Wands. Yeah. They're, okay. Somebody's going through a tower moment here. I told y'all they're going through lessons and they're making changes. They're realizing that you're the one for them. They look at you like a blessing. You're very passionate. You're very, you're fiery. And I feel like they're trying to get away from certain obstacles in order to be with you. So somebody is really going through it right now. Let's see. Yeah, this person's afraid they're not going to be able to have a victory with you, though. Because of something that they did in the past. Or because of some type of family situation, possibly. Tell me more. Oh, but they learned their lesson. And they're wanting to move forward with you and heal things with you. Some of you guys could be dealing with an Aquarius. Oh, look, just caught my eye. They want a relationship with you. This person definitely wants to be in a commitment. Ooh, hoo, hoo. okay. They want to be with you. This person knows, like, I got to do what I got to do. I got to hurry up, okay. Cancer is about to leave me or cross watcher. Like I said, they're thinking this way about you. Somebody could be dealing with a Taurus. But this person, I'm telling you, they want a commitment with you. Something that leads to marriage. Oh, you guys are getting a stable offer here. Come on, Cancer. Yes. Okay. I see you guys celebrating. Somebody could be dealing with an Aries. Tell me more. Somebody could be dealing with a Sagittarius, but this person knows that they didn't do right by you. And this is why they're afraid they're not going to be able to balance things out. See, they're unsure the way the Ace of Cups came out, if you're going to accept their offer or not. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Oh, Cancer. Oh, this looks so good. Okay. Oh, Y'all don't have me. Don't have me, okay? 
Oh, this, this energy. I love it. Okay. Somebody could be dealing with a Gemini, but it's like, this is your person. They know that you two are supposed to be with each other and they're going to make their way to you. I'm telling you, you're getting a serious love offer here. But see, I told you with the Ace of Pentacles reverse, this person's afraid that you are not going to take this offer because they didn't bring security in the relationship in the past. They didn't bring stability in the relationship in the past. Maybe somebody is worrying about their money. Yeah, somebody's worrying about their money too. Somebody, whoever messed up here, they took a financial loss. So that was a part of their karma. But there's a lot of regret here, sadness. You know, they want, they want to fix things with you. They messed up. See, that's why they're not talking to you right now. <sighs> I told you. They're trying to get their money together. But this person loves you. They want to be with you. But there is somebody in the background holding on to them for finance, financial reasons. And look at that. It's like the way the Six of Swords just came out. They're coming back to turn things around with you. But they are really afraid that it might be too little too late. Yeah, because see, in the past, they were being sneaky. And they're hoping that you two can move forward and let go of what took place in the past so you can start fresh. But I am seeing this person, they've made, yeah, dang, I was about to say this. <laughs> I was saying that they, they made some changes here. They're making changes. And they know that they're going to have to move really fast to remove themselves out of a toxic situation that they put themselves in. This could even be letting go of codependent behaviors that they even have. Somebody could be dealing with um, a Capricorn. Tell me more. Yep, they're coming to give you an offer. It's going to be a small offer because this person knows that you guys don't trust them. Remember, you had you deserve love. They feel like they don't deserve you. So while they're getting themselves out of this situation, you're going to hear from them. And they're going to come back in wanting to extend an offer to you. But they can't just go in with the love offer. I love you. Let's get married. Go down. They can't do all of that because y'all going to be looking at them like they crazy. And I would too. See, they do not want you to walk away. I told you it's split because I'm, I'm picking up two different things. Either this person's going to come back in and, you know, they're going to tell you what's, what's currently going on because they haven't walked away from this situation just yet. And they're going to come to you and they're going to say, look, this is what's going on. But I love you. I miss you. I want this to work. But I know. X, Y, and Z is happening, so can we go slow? Because they don't want you to walk away. Or for others of you, they're going to wait until they get out of this situation. Then they're going to come towards you to say what needs to be said. So, mm. or I dang, I just heard this. Some of them are going to reach out to you. And they're going to test you to see if you're still upset, if you're still mad with them. And what's going to happen is they're going to move slow like that. They're going to just slowly start texting you, slowly start reaching out, communicating with you online, whatever's going on. Because some of y'all have them blocked. Let's keep it 100, okay? So they're going to figure out a way <laughs> to get to you and just like to see, okay, can is he or she talking to me? Are they going to respond, blah, blah, blah. And then what's going to happen is they're going to come back and slowly start telling you what's been going on. But the thing is, this offer is a small offer. It's not the big offer that I'm seeing. It will turn into the big offer, but they can't do that just yet until they get out of that situation. See, back and forth. This person will apologize to you, but the way the Knight of Cups came out, they're not confident in doing that just yet. They're not confident in approaching you and giving you this offer and saying all of this. You know, even though they're trying to, they're still hesitating, guys. See, they're back and forth with the Two of Cups. I'm telling you. This person wants to be in a commitment with you, but I'm going to be honest with you. Somebody's in a commitment with someone else or someone's committed to doing something for someone else or other people. And this is why they're afraid that you may not want to be with them because they, they messed up. See, somebody could be dealing with an air sign, but they're afraid that you're going to cut them off. And see, that's what worries them. The way the Knight of Swords just came out, it's like they can't sleep. They're up at night. They're constantly overthinking this. But it's like, even though they're trying to get out of this, they're afraid that you're going to move on, you know, you already moved on, but they want to start over and build something with you. But the thing is, they're just moving really slow to do it. See, this person's afraid that things may not improve with the two of you because they're going to have to tell you the truth. This person is going to have to, you know, speak their truth to you. Somebody is dealing with the Libra here. Clarify justice. Maybe somebody's trying to get out of a legal situation or some type of contract. Clarify justice reversed. Yeah. So I'm seeing two things. So somebody, they're going to come back and speak their truth to you because you were left out in the cold, you know, and they want to make it right. For others of you, this person, they're trying to get out of some type of legal situation. 
because they're taking a hit financially. I told you I feel like somebody is losing money here. But it's getting to the point where they're trying to like save their money. They're trying to make sure that situation is done, squared away, and then they're coming towards you. Because see, even there's the Knight of Wands here. Somebody's trying to get out of some type of document or contract. So there could be a, some type of legal situation going on, whether it's, like I said, they're married to someone, they have a business with someone, they could be legally bound to a contract, you know, living. It could be anything. But... I'm seeing that somebody could be dealing with a fire sign here and this person, they're going to have the confidence to come towards you. Yep. And they're going to tell you, I, I left a third party or I left this other situation. They're going to, they're going to tell you the truth. But see right now they're stuck trying to make a decision. Clarify. You see, because they stabbed you in the back. They, this person hurt you. They know they did. And see this, they're coming out of being frustrated about everything. They're coming out of being frustrated about their money. They did have you waiting, and that's that's another issue. But see, even with the Seven of Cups, I feel like the way that came out, they're trying to make a decision, you know, and they're kind of like, okay, I don't know what to do. But I'm going to tell you something. Somebody's being bound. It is something pertaining to finances. That's the issue. But regardless, they know that they didn't um, balance things out with you. You were the one putting in all of the work. They didn't meet you where, you know, they didn't meet you halfway. They didn't put in 100%. So now they're feeling like, okay, you're going to end up judging them. But I'm really seeing they're going to have to make a decision. But fear is here, you know. Somebody could be dealing with a Pisces. They're afraid of what you're going to say. This person messed up. But they need to listen to their intuition Tell me more. Mm-hmm. I told you. They're going to end up making a decision. Okay. But they know your guard is up. And even though they want things to improve, there was some type of third-party situation going on. And they're afraid you're going to cut them off for good. So they know in order to make things right, they're going to have to talk to you. They're going to have to talk to you. I'm going to tell y'all something. What just caught my eye? Let me move this up a little bit so I can show y'all. You see how the King of Swords is here, but you see the King of Wands? Some of you guys could have possibly moved on with someone else or there's someone else coming in. It is very possible because even though the person that messed up, they're trying to manifest you, they're frustrated. They lost you for good. So I feel like if you're not talking to anyone, or even if you are, it doesn't matter, this person feels like you are or they're thinking like, did he or she move on? Because even though I have two kings, it could be two queens. And that's why they're worried. See, what did I just tell you? I told you it was two people. I didn't I just tell y'all that? So that just confirmed it. I'm telling you, you guys have somebody else coming in. If you are not talking to someone else right now, you definitely have another man or another woman coming in, okay? Somebody could be dealing with the water sign. And see, this is why they're not taking a leap. Tell me more. They're going to have to work really hard to win you back. Oh, yes. Y'all going to have two people basically, I ain't going to say fighting over you, but fighting over you. <laughs> they're going to have to work really hard. See, because see, now they're afraid you're not going to take their offer. And now this is going to freak them out because they're like, okay, I've been stuck in this situation too long. Now I got to make a move. Because see, it's a lot of regret here. They messed up, but every time they want to say something to you, they don't. This person could have been being a player in the past, but they don't want to play games with you anymore. But see, the issue is, they, even though they want to balance things out, they're going to have to give to someone else, and that's the problem. You know, and I feel like this is why there's been a lot of conflict within this person, because now the seeds that they planted with you, they don't know if it's going to grow or not. Somebody's dealing with a water sign here, but you guys, you're emotional. You know, they know that they hurt you. But this was their lesson. Somebody could have been dealing with a Virgo. This was their lesson because, see, they don't have a happy home. Whatever situation that they're in, they're not happy at all. Back and forth with the hangman and the eight of wands. Yeah, because it's like one minute they want to talk to you, but the next minute they're holding back. It's like little to no communication. They're having a hard time speaking their truth, telling you what's going on, telling you what it is that they want with you. But I'm seeing that they're going to come towards you. They're going to come towards you eventually, but they're just taking their time. This person, they're not listening to their intuition at all. Back and forth with the chariot. Cancer, you could be dealing with another cancer. But I'm telling you, it's like they want to see, they want to move forward with you to have this new beginning. But it's like they're hesitating, not coming towards you because they're feeling like it's not going to happen. Clarify the Empress. Somebody could be dealing with an earth sign here, but I do feel like you are going to get an offer from them. They want to give you the stable, secure offer, but this person is frustrated. Clarify. 
yeah, there's some type of home or family situation going on. I told y'all somebody's in some type of situation here and it, it, they're worried about their money too. See, but look at that. Somebody's getting ready to be single. This person's getting out of it. This person is getting out of whatever situation that they put themselves in. Yeah, they're going to put an end to it. You could be uh, dealing with a Scorpio. Yeah, somebody's getting out of a home or a family situation in order to give you an offer. Mm -hmm. Somebody was stuck in some type of situation. Could be dealing with a Leo. But it's like they... They're going to have the strength to give you this offer, but I'm telling you, that car, it was some hesitation. They're having a hard time coming towards you because they're afraid that you're not going to have a new beginning with them. But look at that. You have the world. You have the world here. This person definitely wants to have a new opportunity with you, but could be dealing with an earth sign, but they're afraid that you don't want to put any more time, effort, or energy into them. Also, I'm picking up that whoever they've been dealing with, they're going to have to put an end to that situation, which they will. But I told you there's something going on with their money. So somebody's trying to come after them financially speaking or somebody's been taken from them and they have to figure out how to put an end to that. <sighs> oh, cancer. Yeah, ooh, ooh, this is going to be good. <laughs> okay, let's get y'all some advice. Let's just see what comes out. Okay, Spirit, I want to get some advice, please, for my, ew, for my cancers. Advice. Cancer, please. What about cancer? This love situation that I just picked up on. What advice do you have for my cancers, please? All right, let's see. Bottom of the deck, four pinnacles. So, Spirit is saying things are gonna, going to improve for you. Oh, okay. <laughs> but I'm seeing the Wheel of Fortune. So, this could be you guys deciding not to move forward with this individual. This could also be you guys, you're, you haven't learned a lesson. So, let's just see. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune reverse, please. Yeah, there's some fear here. You guys are still going through lessons too. So, but they're saying they need you to listen to your intuition. Because see, I told you, you got to make a decision. You guys have to make a decision here. And see, it's more so down for me. So, I feel like Spirit is saying you guys are frustrated. And they want you to come out of that energy. They don't want you to be frustrated anymore. See, you guys are in your head. Back and forth with the magician. So, honestly, it's like you guys are trying to be positive. But to be honest, you're really not. Because, see, with the Knight of Wands, this person, they I told you, they were being a player. This person kept running in and out of your life. So, it's like, you're, you you they frustrated you. I'm going to be honest with you. They frustrated you, and it got to the point where you're like, you know what? I am a little upset because I know that this person is supposed to be my person. This is like a soulmate or a twin, whoever I'm talking to. And it's like, I know this is supposed to be my person. I'm irritated that this has happened but at the end of the day they chose this life you know they chose to stay in whatever situation that they were in so they left me no choice but to move on i have to move forward i have to look to my future because i don't see myself having a new opportunity with this person because they didn't balance things out i was the one that kept trying i was the one that kept giving to them see so it's like you guys are confident yeah, and you're feeling like, okay, things aren't going to turn around. Yep, this person was being very immature, very childish towards you, and you had to remove yourself from this third-party situation. But look at that. It's like once you decided to remove yourself, you got a new beginning coming. Didn't I tell y'all you have somebody else coming in? So, yep, Spirit is saying... It's like there's stability coming into your life, but even though you kind of feel like it's not... Okay, what just jumped out? The devil. Mm -mm -mm. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Okay, hold on. Y'all see these two right here? And as creepy as it sounds, it's like I felt like something just kind of knocked up against my window. Y'all don't judge me. It was just, that was weird timing. But look, and I'm on the second floor. So <laughs> it's like, uh, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all this. I want y'all to know something, and I feel like some of you guys already know. 
I don't even like these two paired together because, I mean, yes, the devil does represent fear, but this is manipulation at its finest. And especially paired with the emperor, somebody was controlling your person. I'm going to be very honest with you. There's some control here. And the fact that the devil come, came out and I'm seeing it next to the magician, this is spell work or magic. Spell work and or magic. This is why your person was very inconsistent. This is why they could have possibly went in the other direction or stayed with someone or whatever the situation is. They were being controlled, hands down. They were being controlled. Yeah, because you know what? Even when the devil came out, guys, my eyes went to the star. So, yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Okay? <laughs> they were being controlled. That's the problem. That's what happened. Mm. Lord, not on Mother's Day. We doing this on Mother's Day? See, if I have enough energy, I should just knocked y'all out yesterday. <laughs> See, I can't make it up. Look, this is why you were left out in the cold. This is why your person was under control of some type of spell work or magic. That's what happened. So I'm not going to give them excuses because at the end of the day, if somebody's doing some type of spell work or magic, the mess does wear off and the person has to keep doing it. And I don't understand. No, I'm not about to go on. No, I'm not going on that rant. I'm, I was just about to say, I don't understand why people do stuff like that. That's a, that's a story for another day, but whatever. So look, that's what happened. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Back and forth with the seven of wands. Yeah, so it's like, even though you're trying not to be frustrated, you're frustrated. You're like, you know what? I don't have time for this nonsense. I don't care what he or she got themselves going, um, got themselves in. I have to protect me. I want to move on. I want to move forward. But if I'm correct, and this is some type of like soulmate or twin flame energy, just like I told Libra, you guys are low-key but high-key fighting on their behalf. This is something very spiritual. And it's like you're tired of being sucked in. It's like you're trying to move forward, but you can pick up on this person, you know, when they can't sleep because now you can't sleep. When they're worried, you're perfectly fine. All of a sudden, you're upset. You're crying. You're like, what the hell just happened? You know, it's it's a lot here. And you're like, I'm tired of this connection. I'm tired of this energy. I'm trying to move on with my life, but I feel like I can't because I keep getting sucked back into your BS. See, look, I told you, you're trying to move on. You're trying to move in a new direction, but look at that. 11-11. <laughs> Y'all know this is your person. I, I'm telling you, this is a soulmate or a twin flame, hands down. And Spirit is, Spirit is saying, you can have a happy home with this person, but it's going to take some time. And y'all are over. You're like, what time? I'm good. I'm good. I want to move on. See, you guys are coming out of being frustrated. And it's like, even at one point in time, you're having a hard time. You guys are taking baby steps to get remove yourself out of the situation because you're like, I don't want a new beginning with this person. I'm tired. See, you, this person does not give you a peace of mind, but you're feeling stuck. Some of you guys might be dealing with a Libra because I, I keep picking up Libra. So somebody's dealing with a Libra or maybe you have Libra in your chart or they do. Let me see. Something told me to put that card back. That's why I grabbed it. Sorry, y'all. I should have told y'all that. But anyway, I'm seeing that you're going to make a decision. What's the decision? Didn't I tell you I feel like somebody's dealing with a Libra? Somebody's definitely dealing with an air sign here, but you're cutting someone off in order for things to improve. Because, see, there's the Empress. You're, you're birthing something new. Oh, but look, there's the Emperor and the Empress. See what I'm saying? This is your person, look, and your angels are helping you. So I'm telling you, you have someone else coming in, but this other person, oh, it's your person, honey. It's your person, okay? See, Queen of Swords, you guys want to hear from this person. Maybe you want closure. You want, you just want something, right? You just want to know what the truth is. But at the end of the day, your guard is up. Now you're being really cold to this person because you're over it. You're tired. You know, it's like it's always a battle with this individual. And you're over You're like, just leave me alone. I don't want to build with you. You guys don't have the strength to deal with this person anymore. And you're healing. You guys have been healing. That's why the Queen of Swords is here because it's like you're protecting yourself. You're protecting yourself. You're like, you. I'm not giving you any room to try to hurt me again. I'm tired of you stabbing me in my back. I'm tired of you leaving me out in the cold. Five more. Yeah, it's because of this past situation. Family. See, I did not just say family. Look at the two sixes. This is a family situation. You can either have a family with this person or this, pa this person has a family with someone else. Or family members basically were involved in this situation. And basically, you're kind of like, I don't want a victory with you. I don't. So you're walking away. Eight of Cups. You guys are walking away. 
But when you walk away, that's when communication is coming in. But ooh, you're telling them, nope, I'm good. I don't, I don't want you. I'm done. Because see, you have someone new coming in trying to extend an offer to you. And now you guys are looking at this other person like, I think I want to give this new man or this new woman a chance. Yeah, you guys are healing. You're coming out, uh, coming out of being sad, focusing on you. But I have two fights. Y'all have to make a decision. Y'all have decisions to make. So that was a part of the overall advice where something's going to happen fast. And you got to make a decision. Oh, yeah. This is going to be interesting. <sighs> Cancer, please leave me some comments, okay? Let me know if this resonates. Because this is going to be good. I knew it. This is going to be real good. All right. So I love you guys. <laughs> We definitely have to see how this plays out in June, but happy Mother's Day to you all. I love you guys, and I hope you enjoy your day. Bye, Cancer.